Hello YouTube, welcome to the channel. Tepren here. This video will be about space PvP in specific consumables and summons. Um, I just wanted, I wanted to make this video try and hash out some uh, misconceptions and you know those aha moments that not many people get. So we're going to get right into it. Sorted my inventory. So we're going to be covering these lower items here and we'll start up here. These are what I like to call space vitamins. Um, they provide a really, really small boost to engineering, science, and your tactical skills. Um, these are good for four hours, uh, meaning you click on and they are providing a passive boost for the next four hours. Um, they're fairly cheap. Um, again, you could get them at the Fleet Starbase, provide you know the Starbase is at the appropriate level, all that good stuff, but the, again, it's a very small boost, but in my opinion, they're cheap and it's still a boost and, you know, every little bit counts. Uh, I would show actually what I would be running, right? They are usable from the um, inventory, so you don't have to equip them or anything like that. Uh, but I already used mine, so they're good for about four hours now, three and a half at this point. But again, it's just a passive boost to everything. Uh, do, do, do. All right, next thing's coming up. All right, we're going to talk about this. This is a very, very important one. Never leave home without it kind of thing. Uh, prototype Ablative Gemini Hard Points. Um, huge boost to your hull capacity. Uh, so if you have other things like, um, you know, skills or consoles that are affected by how much hull capacity you have, this is a no-brainer to have. Um, you don't have to have this in your device slot. That's another thing I just want to bring up real quick. A lot of these items you don't need in your device slot, meaning you don't need to have them equipped here. All right, these things work right out of inventory. So I have no blade of hard points in my device slot, but if you look, it's in my wheel ready to be used. So again, uh, make sure you're not wasting those uh, device slots. They are crucial. But again, huge, huge boost. Um, normally, I mean, these things are cheap on the exchange right now, in my opinion. Uh, a couple months ago, they were probably four or five times more than the current price. Uh, but don't worry, you don't have to waste your EC. This is a craftable item. Uh, you have to knock out a duty officer assignment, a chain assignment. And after you are done with it, you get to craft one of these every 24 hours. Um, so yeah, you don't have to buy them. I buy them in bulk. If I see them on the exchange cheap, I know I use these all the time. I'm going to stock up. Uh, with that being said, a lot of these consumables, you know, they are either dilithium or they're expensive or they take a long time to craft. Um, I don't use these in our fun V's, all right, like group friendly PVPs and stuff like that. Um, you know, unless I'm having a really terrible time. I try not to use these. If I'm in a one-on-one -on -one random PvP, that's a completely different story. You know, it's um, Eye of the Tiger, Balsa Wall kind of thing. So, yeah. All right, moving on. These two, I kind of swap out every now and then, depending on what build I'm running. Um, but right now, I'm really, really keen on these uh, resistant, uh, these control boosts. So, these are had from your competitive... Uh, rep store. Let's go over there. Go all the way down. Competitive. And you go into the store. You have all these things. So you can buy the cheaper ones. Obviously they are the lithium. Alright. So they do cost some money. But uh, you have a, you know, a normal one and then a more advanced one. Alright. So play around with them if you want. These two I really those are my go-tos um if i'm really getting pummeled or i'm getting you know ganged up on i will definitely be using this one uh if i feel that you know i'm not getting hit as much uh, you know my placates are doing their thing and i want to see people more i will definitely use this the other cool thing it does work in ground as well as space so if you're worrying about uh ground builds this actually is pretty cool I probably wouldn't use the control one. Not many people use um, control placating ground builds. So I'll probably opt for this. 
but the cool thing is these work for 15 minutes so typical match you know around the five if you're 1v1 or you know around the 20 it pretty much lasts the entire match um yeah again they are they're really good their go-to's a little on the expensive side but again if you're going for the best of the best consumables this would definitely this has to be in your inventory there's there's no question about it um again these do you can equip them in your device slot if you want but they work right from inventory again so over here right there so if you're actually you know in a uh aggro or something like that you can actually see this and it'll be highlighted and all that good stuff again it's a no-brainer have these uh, let's head down the list. All right. Uh, by the way, these do share a cooldown. That's why they're side by side. And I kind of, you know, broke them up that way. You can't use both. So that's why I was saying that, you know, I'll swap them out if I'm, uh, you know, in a certain situation, these do share a cooldown. Uh, next up is your sensor disruptor pylons. Guys, this is a necessity. Um, normally you could tell um, if you're an experienced, if you're going against a experienced PvP, -er, uh, if you deploy this and they don't immediately stop shooting at you and they don't try and destroy this, they don't know PvP all that well, or they just, you know, they're not familiar with this at least and what it does. This gives you a huge, huge boost to yourself, a good boost to your accuracy, and conversely, it affects them. So you're able to see them more, and they're able to hit you less. Um, this pops, and, you know, uh, it's good for three minutes. Uh, I think it has a 15-minute cooldown. It could be 10. But, yeah, guys, it sucks when it gets destroyed, but it lets you know, all right, there's this person. They actually know PvP. You know, I got, I got to kind of focus here, all that good stuff. But if they don't, even better for you, um, you're getting a huge boost and they're getting a huge negated boost. So uh, this one does not share a cooldown with these up here. And this can be had in the competitive store. Uh, there is a lower version, obviously. Uh, I've seen a couple people try and play around with the uh, turrets. They don't really work all that well because, I mean, space PvP, it, you're not going to be in the same place that long. Uh, you're always moving. You know, if you want to try and put them in the ceilings, go for it. But, um, yeah, it's just, uh, I wouldn't go for them. Um, yeah, so this pops a huge field, and all you have to do is fly in it. You know, obviously, you're deploying it, so you're automatically going to get it. And if they fly through it, well, sucks to be them. But, um, again, this is the lithium. A little expensive, would not use in a fun V, but... For a one-on-one, -on -one, I definitely want to see where the my opponent's at as far as um, skill level, uh, knowledge, stuff like that. All right, moving on, our summons. So I have two summons, and there's a lot of different summons. There's you know the Klingon one and all this other good stuff. It really, in my opinion, it does not matter one bit which summons, but you should have two in your inventory. Now I use the Nimbus one because was part of the mission and delta one it was part of the mission it was kind of no-brainer there um these do share a cooldown but they don't share the same cooldown so if the cooldown is 15 minutes one is 15 minutes the one you activated the other shares a reduced cooldown so the other one is 10 minutes so if you in a long you know pvp and all that you can actually you know cross these over if you time it right i mean as far as damage and everything, they're not for damage. Uh, healing, not for healing. Uh, all they're there for is pretty much cannon fodder. Uh, they're distractions. Um, the more stuff you have around you, you know, the harder you are to target, especially if you're using placates, stealth, all this stuff, you're, you know, phasing in and out. Um, you definitely want to have some distractions going. So I picked the ones that have the most ships and everything and, uh, yeah, I let them rock. Uh, these also you can equip in your devices. Don't waste your device slots. There's so much more that you can put in there. Um, these are usable from inventory. 
All right, obviously they are in inventory now. Let me actually go to the correct menu. No, the correct menu, there we go. Delta Alliance right there, and our Nimbus is right here. So again, the emphasis on not wasting device slots, it's really what I'm trying to drive over. All right, moving on. This is another summon. So this comes from the Romulan rep store. Uh, let's head over there. And I always have these queued up. Um, we'll actually finish it out now, start a new project, why not? All the way down, you'll find all these um, reinforcements, distress calls, all that good stuff. Uh, this one is obviously the most expensive. Uh, I use this because, again, it's a distraction. I'm not worried about them, you know, helping me out in battle or anything. They're they're probably just going to fight other NPCs. So if anything, they're a good distraction. Um, I usually, you know, I keep a hundred of these in inventory. Uh, the marks are, you know, barely anything. The lithium cost, eh, 2,000 to lithium. Not many people like that. I get that. Um, so each one of these you craft is 10 ships. So you get 10 of those. Um, again, I, I just keep them stocked up. So, I mean, with these three, the, this does not share a cooldown with your other summons. All right. Uh, it can auto-proc. Uh, just like these, so it's it's in the inventory. Um, it takes up a space on the wheel, but I'm not really worried. So there it is. There, yeah, it's it. It warps in assist. I, I wouldn't say assist, but whatever. A distraction is a distraction, I guess. Let's move on. Almost done here. So these last ones are not usable in your inventory. All right, you have to have them in your device slot. Now, I know that, you know, again, not everyone is pay to win, that kind of thing. Um, maybe some people will, you know, use the type, type of batteries during events, you know, special occasions, stuff like that. But um, I mainly just run uh, the lithium batteries. Um, if I'm in a fun V, I typically don't use these. Again, they, they're, they cost the lithium, they're expensive. Um, I'll I might use uh, crafted batteries, you know, ones that really don't cost anything, but these are pretty much my go-to. So regular batteries, um, if you have a weapons battery, it affects weapons. It's like a plus 100 to weapon power, but that's it. It's just weapon power. With the Dilithium batteries, you can get a double bonus, so weapon and auxiliary or shield and weapon, or, you know, auxiliary and shield, whatever your fancy is for your build, um, it gives you a double bonus with a reduction of what that bonus actually would be. Um, now, I typically run uh, weapon and auxiliary because that is this build. If I'm in something bigger, you know, I need more auxiliary and a ton more shields, obviously I'll swap them out. But uh, primarily, these are my go-to batteries. Now, they have these in personal ones, which are the ones we're on right now. They also have team ones. Now, these obviously are more expensive. So if I'm in Karat and I'm on a team and we're going against people and it's not exactly a, a fun kind of thing, um, I'll opt for this. This does work. I've, um, I've tried it out with my other account. Um, I've verified it with other players as well. Um, you do have a boost to your weapon and auxiliary power. So I'll go into why auxiliary is important and everything for my builds at least um, in another video at some point. So that is definitely in the devices. Now for some reason I just have this in there. I normally would have the single batteries in there. All right, the other device is deuterium surplus so you could use this in two ways offensively or defensively um really the only thing i worry about is going fast i really want to go fast rather it be to you know get out of getting jumped or to you know somebody's just put a beating on me i need to get my uh, bridge officers back up to speed or somebody's running away i saw them they're running and no 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 i i really want to catch up to them because i don't want to wait the two minutes um, this can be had from the, there's a mission in Boreth sector you have to do. It's super, super easy. Um, 
yeah, you do that mission and then you're actually able to craft them in your R&D. I don't have any R&D slots open right now. Um, nope, I'm not wasting the Delisium Rush in this, but it will be in your engineering uh, category and uh, yeah, you can craft them from there. They're super cheap. Um, you know, I if I'm running four devices, this is a T6X, so you know normally it would only have three, but with the upgrade, you get an extra device slot. Um, normally, if it came down to just three, yeah, this would not make the cut. This would definitely not make the cut. Uh, I'll go into this entire build, you know, and why I have these other devices here and everything else. Um, those get swapped out to it every now and then, but that pretty much wraps it up, guys. I mean, again, the main points I want to drive across is, you know, every little bit counts. You know, these space vitamins, a plus 10 to all your skills, like, you know, it's the little stuff that really adds up. Um, the other thing is a lot of people are wasting their device slots putting in stuff that works from your inventory. Um, yeah. I hope that somebody learned something out there. Uh, if you enjoyed this video, please like, subscribe. I need my early retirement. I doubt that's going to happen with this channel, but it's all right. Now, it's all about helping you guys. So, thank you very much, and I will see you guys next time.